this is a pretty blatant form of falling asleep on defense right here. Like, you got to see the ball and your man. Let's see if Josh Giddy is doing that. I mean, wow. Okay, get organized in transition. Josh Giddy's guarding the ball. And I guess he has to communicate this. Lugan Stort's got to go here. Like, what is Lugan Stort doing? You're just leaving Carl Towns. Now we have two people guarding the ball. Not good. Okay, if you are Jalen Williams here, you cannot be fronting the post with no backside help. I mean, you got to get underneath here and battle for position. I mean, look at this. This pass gets made. What? <laughs> Atrocious defense from Josh Giddy. Come on, this is the playoffs. Sprint back, get in a defensive stance with your feet set. This nonchalance works maybe in December. You're playing off your back foot. You have no chance of guarding Mike Conley. Some more atrocious transition defense. Why is Lugan Stort standing here? Okay, so you're going to get beat. Fine. Now we're going to have to rotate because a double's obviously going to have to happen. So Shea Gildas Alexander steps up. This Thunder player is going to have to rotate to the corner. If this pass gets made here, it's this Thunder player that has to rotate here. So stop staring at the ball. And then Shea Gildas Alexander would come up. But I mean... Uh, yeah. Okay, so this is horrendous defense by Dario Saric. Okay, noted. But if you're Shea Gildas Alexander here, stop. You cannot take your eye off the ball. Like, as your man cuts through, you got to be seeing the ball and your man. Because Dario Saric is going to get beat here. So you're not seeing the ball. If you were seeing the ball, you'd be right. You could stunt at this and then easily recover and help Dario Saric out. But... <laughs> what is Shea Gildas Alexander doing here? Why is he standing in the paint? The backside help for Rudy Gobert would come here. You need to stay in the corner. You're on the strong side of the floor. Like, wh what? <laughs> okay, so Carl Anthony Towns right now is not facing you up right here. So I understand why you have your, your hands on Carl Anthony Towns. But when he look at it when he starts to see, he starts to turn. So get your hands off of Carl Anthony Towns because he's facing you up now. Now you got to be able to slide your feet. But Carl Anthony Towns turns, you haven't moved anywhere. You're still guarding him like he's posting you up or with his back to you. So now you're not going to be able to slide your feet, especially when you gamble for a steal also. It's similar. So Carl Anthony Towns is facing you up. When he turns to post you up, you got to change how you defend Carl Anthony Towns. Now you got to battle for position right now, like right away. So you're not doing any battling for position. Look at the space you're giving him. Like, you're not battling for position at all. So Carl Anthony Towns can just keep moving you to wherever he wants to move you. Cannot relax on defense ever. When this pass gets made, look at this. you got to stay in a defensive stance with your feet set, okay? Look at this player. He's backpedaling. He's also staring at the ball. So now when Mike Conley comes flying off of a handoff this way, you're not going to be able to guard. Stop gambling trying to get a deflection on a pass that never gets made. Look at this. Like, look at all these gambles. You're trying to get a deflection on a pass. Well, you're not going to be able... When Carl Anthony Towns turns now to face you up, look at this. You're you're not going to be able to get your feet set and slide your feet. Uh, <sighs> so this shot is going up. If you are Lugans Dort, you have got to find Anthony Edwards. Be aggressive in boxing him out. Like, this is just not good. Look at this. You're not even boxing him? That is... You know, this is the playoffs. I don't know if you remember that. you got to be way more aggressive on this trap. Like, Lugans, both these players do. Lugans Dort's got to get up and close this area off, and this player's got to be up. Like, Anthony Edwards cannot be able to turn the corner here. This is the only... If you're trapping, uh, this is the only part of the floor he can have access to. Like, Lugans Dort isn't aggressive enough. This player isn't up enough. Uh, trapping, so he's able to turn the corner, and I mean, you are done at that point. And not be moving your feet inwards if you're going to be in the gaps. you got to have your feet set. Look at this Thunder player. Look at his moving his feet this way. So you're going this way as this pass is coming out. You have no chance now of guarding Kyle Anderson. He can just rip and go right by you. So Lugans Dort is not gonna, he's not going to be able to get over here and guard Anthony Edwards. Like you're going to be end up backpedaling and it's going to be a disaster. Okay, that's okay because you have that. I mean, Shea Gildas Alexander and this Thunder player, both their players are across half court that they're going to defend. So get up and play on Anthony Edwards' side and force him into this help. And immediately, like you're trying to guard Anthony Edwards one on one, playing off your back foot. Uh, that is not going to be effective. 
Okay, so the Timberwolves get this rebound right here. Okay, stop. So this Thunder player cannot gamble. You have got to start to get back. Look at this. You're going to stick around and try and gamble. Well, now it's a four-on-three instead of a four-on-four. Four. That is not great. Okay, I mean, Josh Giddy, the shot goes up right now. Josh Giddy just staring at the shot is, is not effective. Like, start to get back. Like, th look at this. You're just standing and standing, and now you're jog. I mean, this is horrible. I mean, the Thunder are in drop coverage here. Stop. So, what Lugon Stort being in the paint is pointless. This player is dropping towards the ball. If there's backside help for Gobert, it'd be right here. So, you're just standing in the middle of nowhere. That is... <sighs> okay, so this player doubles the post. Why is this player coming to the post, too? Look at this. You are tripling Carl Anthony Towns right now. Uh, <sighs> yeah, someone's open. What is Josh Giddy doing? You are guarding Carl Anthony Towns. He is one pass away. Where, like, you're not even looking. What is that? What is that? Okay, the problem here is that Thunder do nothing about this first screen here, okay? Like, you did nothing. So Lugans door is already beat. Carl Anthony Towns doesn't even have to screen him. Like, uh, so what's going to have to happen here is just Josh Giddy's not going to be able to be in drop coverage and cover to Carl Anthony Towns. So Jalen Williams is going to have to get up. When this pass gets made, he's going to have to come here, and Giddy will have to come here uh, in thought, I guess. Okay, I mean, if Jalen Williams is coming to double here, stop. Lugans door has got to get underneath. You have to have inside position on Rudy Gobert. That's it. If a skip pass gets made here, Giddy would rotate here, here, and then this player would come up. But if you don't have inside position on Rudy Gobert... <laughs> okay, so you got a backside defender here off the pick and roll for Rudy Gobert. So you're going to have to rotate. So these two players rotate. Shea Gildas Alexander's got to come here. Like, you can't have one rotation, then two rotations, and not a third rotation. If you're Jalen Williams here, like, you got to be up here ready to guard Carl Anthony Towns. Like, I don't, where are you going right now? Like, you're just backpedaling to nowhere. So now look, now when Carl Anthony Towns receives this ball, you're not going to be able to guard him. Okay, so this player does a great job getting in the gaps. I mean, he gets Kyle Anderson's dribble picked up. Stop. So these players should be staying wide. This player is here in help. Like, we, you have four Thunder players staring at the ball right now. I mean, if you're Lugans Dort, like, you just can't be comfortable with Carl Anthony Towns hanging around near the paint. you got to battle for position now. Like, look at Lugans Dort. You're not doing anything. So look who has inside position for this rebound. <laughs> Hey, this is you're doubling Anthony Edwards here. That is fine, but what is this player doing? Like, the, uh, Dario Saric is here. You need to be up here because if this pass comes here, you're going here, and Shea Gildas Alexander's going here. Well, uh, it's taking you a little long to get out there. What is Shea Gildas Alexander doing? Like, get over here and guard Torian Prince. Where's he going? What? 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 What are you going up the gut? Like, what is happening right now? Okay, I mean, if you're Lugans Dort, just keep your feet set. Keep your man in front. You're fine right now. Why on earth are you lunging this way? So, okay, this is, if you're in drop coverage here, clearly off of this ball screen, you have to go over the screen uh, this player is trying to go under the screen, uh, you know.